Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today I have a collective message. We're gonna find out what Bill wants you to hear. Please remember this made it resonate for everyone. Let's get straight into this and find out what Bill wants you to know. Okay, I am getting that somebody's really been stressing out here. Um, I'm getting that this could be a friend or something. I am getting that it feels like a friend or like an acquaintance that had feeling tea for you and they're stressed out because they feel like they have this feeling that they should tell you about it. Um... But they're not really sure as well. Like, they definitely seem to be stressing, overthinking it, okay? Um, this person, though, they seem to have deep emotion here for you. I am getting that this is like a friend or somebody that had been around you for a while, okay? But I am getting that things haven't really gone to the next level and this person's stressing. I'm also getting that they feel like if they don't tell you, like, that you're going to move on or they feel like they're going to lose their chance with you. I am getting that this person seems to be dreaming about you a lot. They seem to be... It's like constant dreaming about you, um, constant thinking about you, stressing over the fact that they want to... They want things to go to the next level, okay? But the thing is about this person is... They do want to move very fast, um, and they're not sure whether they, like, I am getting that this person, they're not moving right now because they're stuck in their head, but they want to move very fast, okay? I am getting that you may feel this, right? Because I am getting that you seem to be very intuitive, um, you seem to be picking up on this energy, Somebody constantly thinking about you. I am getting that they are trying to either manifest you or they're just trying to constantly, like they're overthinking things at the moment. Oh yeah, okay. With the High Priestess and the Hierophant, okay, this, is, this seems to be two very spiritual people, okay? And I do see that emotion run deep on their end. I am getting that you're picking up on their energy. You may be dreaming about this person out of nowhere. You may be having, like, if this is a friend, right, you may be having dreams, um of things going to the next level, okay, and that's because this is what this person wants, this person seems to be trying to manifest, and if they're not consciously trying to manifest, they're doing this subconsciously, okay, by thinking about you all the time, um, but I do see this person seems to be very spiritual, you both seem to be into the same thing, You may work together. Um, I am getting that you guys have a lot of the same hobbies. Um, this person also seems to be very intrigued by you. I am getting that this person, like, they sort of try to get into what you get into because they really, they, they really like your personality. They think that you're very unique.
for some of you, you may have mentioned something about manifesting. Um, I'm hearing crystals, okay? So I am getting that this person has sort of, they get into what you get into because they're very interested in you, right? I, I am getting this person, they seem to be following their intuition at the moment, okay? They really feel a strong connection to you. They also really want to speak to you. But this person's stuck in their head about taking action, right? Like, I'm getting that they seem to be constantly thinking about you and you are picking up on this energy. This is like a telepathic bond, right? I just mean 555. Let me know if that resonates. This is like a telepathic bond, okay? The energy that you feel, they're feeling, right? Especially if this is like a soul connection, okay? Um, the energy that you're feeling, they're feeling, right? So, for example, you may like randomly be mad at them, okay? And that could be they're mad at you, right? Or you could be randomly thinking about them and that's because they're thinking about you, okay? I'm picturing somebody lighting a stage. So I am getting, yeah, this person, they're spiritual, right? This person really looks up to you. They're very inspired by you. I am getting that you're somebody that's very intuitive. With the High Priestess here and the Queen of Cups, you're very intuitive. Um, you seem to be, it's like you know energy. You can read energy, you feel energy. You really have inspired this person to level up. You've really inspired this person to work on themselves. And this person, I am getting that if you've mentioned manifesting, they're manifesting, okay? Or you could be manifesting, but somebody here's manifesting this connection. Things seem to be moving really quick energetically. Right? Like the energy is here. But somebody won't take action. I'm getting that. Okay, so. Somebody won't take action because they're scared that it's wishful thinking. Like. This person, they seem to be intuitive. Okay, spiritual. I just mean 818. But the thing is, is they also get confused, like that they're, they're not really sure, like, if this is wishful thinking. A part of them feels like this could be, like, in their head type of energy, right? But this is felt on both ends, right? This seems to be a very powerful connection. There's a whole lot of love here, guys. Okay, so I am seeing whoever's manifesting this, which I am getting it from their end, okay? They seem to walk away too quick, right? Like they start doubting themselves. Again, this person's third eye, it seems to be a little bit blocked, okay? Because they're not really sure if it's like their intuition or if it's like an illusion, if you know what I mean. So basically the energy here, there's a lot of love, okay? They seem to be very happy, very passionate. But the thing is, um, somebody needs to speak here. This is like all in the 5D here, like so much energy in the 5D. But the thing is, nobody talking, right? This 
person wants you to talk to them. And I'm getting that you want this person to talk to you. But the thing is, nobody speaking. So the energy here, guys, Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, like, we had the Hierophant and the High Priestess, like, these things are very strong. It's like a strong spiritual connection, could be Twin Flames, okay? Could be soul, a soul connection. I'm hearing a higher soul connection. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio. What? It's like you're both wishing for each other, you're both hoping. Okay. So you both want this, you both are wishing for each other. The energy here. in fear coming up okay there's too much fear in this connection it's like somebody here feels like if they do speak if they do speak their feelings that the worst is going to happen like they seem to be letting fear take over this person also seems to be trying to protect themselves like this person doesn't want to come off and talk about their feelings because they're scared that it's like they're scared that what they're feeling is one-sided okay their intuition is blocked a little bit but they are very intuitive okay there's a lot of fear coming up okay they, they, it's like they're trying to protect their ego, to be honest, okay? Like, they don't want to... They don't want to be vulnerable because they're scared that if they get rejected... It, this is their ego coming in to protect them, right? But they're not taking a chance. It literally is... This is a painful situation for both of them. You've got to be joking gotta be joking like you guys are supposed to be together you guys are supposed to it, this is like a, a game at this point this is like who's gonna speak first you both want to talk to each other you both have emotions for each other but there's no action okay there's also an energy here of like Somebody trying to walk away from something, okay? But then it's like they give up. It's like they, they're trying to walk away from something. So they could be in a relationship or something like that, okay? This may not resonate for everyone. Maybe it's no relationship, okay? But there seems to be something that one of the energy here wants to walk away from, okay? But the thing is, they keep holding on to it. They hold on to it, okay? And it's like, they seem to be sabotaging it. They take a step back and they seem to be sabotaging their own manifestation. So I am getting that this person's like manifesting you, but then they're having a hard time letting go of the old, okay? The thing is, like, this is like, this reading is frustrating because... I see two people that feel intense love for each other, right? Intense connection here. It's like they're supposed to be together and it feels very like the universe is like guiding you to, to be together. It's like it's written in the stars I'm hearing, okay? So it's like it's meant to happen in this lifetime, right? And there's a lot of love here. You both are like praying. You both are like wishing. You both are like manifesting here. But there's no communication. Like, it's so frustrating because you both want to speak too, like. like 
Okay, yeah. So, again, there's this energy of this new beginning, like, it's here, like, you could literally, like, it feels like one conversation would clear up a whole lot of confusion. Somebody here, and I'm getting it your person, keeps letting fear get in the way. Their third eye blocked a bit, but they need very strong spiritual connection. So, yeah, and the thing is, they're letting fear take over, which is stopping them from communicating here. They're thinking about it, like, they, they're constantly thinking about communicating, okay? And then they stop themselves. This person, they're trying to build up the courage. They're constantly missing you, constantly thinking about you. They're a little bit intimidated by your presence, okay? Because this person's completely in love with you, okay? It's like... They really don't want, they really don't want, um, for this person, they have strong feelings here for you, but they're really intimidated here by your, like, presence, right? And it's like, they have so many feelings here for you and so much love that they're so scared that if they were to come forward, that it wouldn't, like, it's one-sided, okay, but this is literally, this is felt on both ends, this is, like, telepathic. See, this is what's sad about this, right? There's so much love here, okay, and I just think 1717 when I said that. There's so much love here, right? But the thing is, at the moment, the ego is winning. The ego is literally winning, right? It's like this person, they keep letting their ego win because they don't want to come forward, be vulnerable, and let you know how they feel. But the thing is, you seem to feel the same way, okay? Right now, the ego seems to be winning, guys, okay? It's like it wants to happen so bad, the energy here, okay? The energy here, you both, like, you feel like you guys would be a really good couple of, I'm hearing power couple, I'm hearing, like, teamwork, like, you guys would be a good team, right? Okay, so there's one too many people. There is one too many people. Somebody needs to go, whether it's on your end or their end. There seems to be three people in this situation. Okay, somebody needs to make a choice, okay? Because I do see that even though this connection felt, this person may actually be in a relationship. They may be entertaining a karmic, but, like, they're focused on you. Somebody needs to go, though. There's a third party. Strong Scorpio energy. There's a choice to be made, okay, on somebody's end. Um, somebody needs to be available, okay? I am getting that there's one too many... Like, and if this person is single, it's like, they seem to be giving their energy to somebody else, or there's somebody else's opinion in the way or something, okay? Because there's like three people here when there need to be two, there need to be a choice. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, so, basically this person, they're in the energy of wanting to speak to you. At the moment, ego seems to be winning. Um, this person also seems to be very intimidated by you. They have some truth to tell you, but 
yeah, they're a little bit intimidated to actually come forward and speak, okay? Some of them feel like they've made the wrong choice. Other, they're just very intimidated by your presence here. Um, but, guys, like, there's a lot of love here. Like, you know, if this is really resonating, like, you should just reach out to this person because the energy in here, like, it wants to start, you know, there's so much love that... You, you guys really seem to be a good match, okay? The universe keeps, like, pulling you guys, like, back in each other's direction for a reason, okay? So that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.